This is the five ways of classifying programming languages. Five. And to finish, we've got concurrent or non-concurrent programming languages. What is this? I know it sounds a bit weird, a bit strange, this term. I thought the same when I heard it. So basically, concurrency means that a program, that a piece of code can do two different tasks in parallel at the same time. It might seem easy, but for a machine, it's very difficult to perform. So non-concurrent languages, as you could guess, are usually the most primitive ones, the ones that came in the 80s and the 90s. So example of concurrent languages, we've got Python, although the most appropriate one is Scala. And this is because inside the feature of the language itself, it has features that allow you to run different tasks in parallel. While Python, you would have to, or C for example, C is non-concurrent, but you can make it concurrent if you bring a new library or if you create a piece of code that lets you run two tasks parallel. So the main difference is that it comes inserted inside the, the language itself or not.